Hey there! Today's book review is going to be on a Caribbean mystery by Agatha Christie. First I have to say I do have some of her books already and I really enjoyed reading every single one of them. So this book review might be slightly to her favor, just uh, you keep that in mind. If you don't like Agatha Christie, um, you probably think um, I rate it too high, so just keep that one, just keep that in mind. Well, the story itself starts off with Miss Marple being on a Caribbean island, Saint Honoré. She's um, having her vacation there and trying to improve her health. There are several other characters on this island which we get to know. One of them is Major Palgrave. He's a, an elderly gentleman who really likes to tell stories of his past and therefore he's very talkative and finds um, a patient listener in Miss Marple. Um, sometimes she just follows her own thoughts but um, gives him the impression she's really listening what he says. So when they're um, sitting together like that, on one occasion he tells her a murder story and that he has a picture of the murderer and just when he tries or just when he begins to to want to show her the picture he gets distracted and therefore Miss Marple never sees the actual picture. The next day the major is dead. What a surprise. <laughs> So this is basically how it starts off. I don't want to tell you anything of the story because I don't want to spoil it because um, I really enjoyed reading this one. Um, I love it how she describes um, all, all the characters and the setting. I even did have the feeling I could feel the sun on my skin while reading it, so I really enjoyed that. Um, another thing is, one really crucial point for me is I never get to guess the right murderer in advance. Never, ever. Um, I'm always surprised with what Agatha Christie came up um, in the ending and you really she just reveals the murderer on the last very last few pages so this is really one one big big point for me why I like this stories um, so the reading itself was quite slowly paced but I thought it really fits this time era, you might say, or even um, the elderly Miss Marple. It, I don't think it would have um, been good to have a quicker pace to the story just because of the whole setting on, and the characters. So I really enjoyed this book. Um, also the language itself was fairly simple, straightforward, um, just like I imagine Miss Marple's character herself, so I really, really like that. I think it's a quite a good combination of writing style, character, setting, so I really like this book. And I'd give it 4 out of 5 stars. I wouldn't give it 5 stars because in comparison with other of her books I liked um, and then there were none and the Orient Express better. So I just give it 4 out of 5 stars. Yeah, I think that's it. See you next time. Bye bye.